this is Canada. Well, it's close enough anyway. Here, I'll make it pink like Canada always is in the Alice's. And here's Saskatchewan. I'll make it Rough Rider Green. And right here is Saskatoon. I'll make it a heart because, well, I love Saskatoon. And I want to tell you a story about life in this city. First, I need to introduce myself. My name is Catherine Starks, and I'm a university student here in Saskatoon. And now I want to introduce my city. Well, it's beautiful. It's got the South Saskatchewan River flowing through it, the iconic Besborough Hotel on its riverbank, loads of bridges, and of course, the University of Saskatchewan. That's where I go to school. As our map already suggests, uh, Saskatoon definitely has a west side and an east side, and the University of Saskatchewan is definitely on the east side of the river. I guess that seems obvious, but it's important because many people in Saskatoon see a real division between the two sides of the river. And there are differences. Let's compare Riversdale on the west side with Nutana, one of the neighborhoods closest to the university on the east side. Unemployment in Riversdale is 12.5%. Whereas in Nutana, it's only 3.5%. Median household income, as you might then expect, is much lower in Riversdale than it is in Nutana. There's also a difference in education. While 10% of Riversdale's residents hold a university degree, 34% do in Nutana. The division is also undeniably racialized, as there's a much higher proportion of Aboriginal people living on the west side than on the east. So Saskatoon is a city of some disparities. The division can feel profound, and it can be hard to see how life at the university connects to other parts of the community. If there's a gap between the community and university in Saskatoon, these students are walking across it. They're doing community service learning, combining time at community-based organizations in the West Side Core with traditional academic study and reflection. It's not charity. It's a reciprocal relationship in which everyone benefits. A new research at the University of Saskatchewan is developing a pilot program in which students will study Aboriginal literature in conjunction with community service learning. This makes a lot of sense because, as Chase Weaver suggests, two of the core values of Aboriginal literatures are community and activism. Bridging Saskatoon's divisions demands cross-cultural understanding, which may be achieved through the study of literature and community service learning. This research promises new ways of reading, studying, and living in community. So, even though it's happening in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, it holds promise for all of us across Canada. And it's funded by the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada.